Wondering what the brain's endocannabinoid system is and how it interacts with cannabis? Let's look at cannabinoids and the endocannabinoid system. Cannabinoids are compounds found in the cannabis plant. Two of these, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, and cannabidiol, CBD, are psychoactive components of cannabis, meaning they alter the way the nervous system functions. THC is responsible for the high feeling some people get, while CBD is not intoxicating in this way. So how do cannabinoids interact with the brain? That's where the endocannabinoid system comes into play. This is a system in the human brain that helps regulate mood, memory, and stress. The main signaling molecules in the system are known as endocannabinoids, which bind to cannabinoid receptors called CB1 and 2. The two major molecules are anandamide, AEA, and 2-arachidonylglycerol, 2-AG. So what happens when cannabis is introduced to the body? First, cannabis can produce a range of sensations. For those who feel pleasure or feel good, this is due to the effects of cannabis on a region of the brain known as the nucleus accumbens. When THC binds to CB1 receptors, it leads to the release of a neurotransmitter called dopamine onto the nucleus accumbens. While the same thing happens when anandamide binds to CB1, the effects of THC are well above normal. This is what leads to the sensation of euphoria. CB1 receptors are also found in the basal ganglia and cerebellum, regions of the brain that are involved in controlling movement, so this can slow you down and affect your activity level and motor control. Some people also experience a change in perception, such as visual distortions or an altered sense of reality. There are many reasons we might use cannabis, and the way we use may change over time. We might use to feel better, connect with others, or reduce feelings of worry or anxiety. It's thought that when someone uses cannabis products frequently, the body and brain will reduce their own production of endocannabinoids. This means heavy and frequent use of cannabis can change our nervous system, and over time we feel more anxious or depressed. Cannabis use can also increase the risk of psychosis. The elevation in dopamine firing that comes with heavy cannabis use is implicated in psychosis. To recap, the endocannabinoid system functions using endocannabinoid messengers. The cannabinoids can influence the system. These messengers control many aspects of brain function, including euphoria, movement, and perception. While many people can use cannabis and experience no major harms, some may develop significant health issues following chronic use. For a better understanding of the risks and benefits of cannabis use, see the Lower Risk Users Guidelines.